Hey everybody, welcome to Lessons with Troy. I'm Troy Brinning Meyer. Well, in today's lesson, I wanted to give you a real quick lesson on right hand technique. Uh, this is the right hand technique that I'm teaching a lot of my beginner students and even uh, more, you know, intermediate to advanced students that are wanting to improve their their pick blocking or palm blocking and their their overall right hand technique. And it's real simple. The way I start um, is I tell the student to start with a clenched fist, just like this, right? You have your finger picks on. Now, I do have my Duesenberg here in open detuning, but this can work for Dobro, Weisenborn, any kind of lap style instrument. So start with a closed fist, kind of put the heel of your hand on all six strings like that, okay? Now, what you're going to do is, I just have this too, as far as the placement, just kind of right above my, my neck pickup. That's this pickup here. Okay, so you're going to open your hand just a little bit. And as you do that, you're going to kind of roll it over and grab strings three, two, and one like this. Okay, so what you're wanting is you're wanting this circle here, just like you could pop a, a, a golf ball right in there. And if I show you this angle, see how my thumb, thumb is in front of the index finger? Okay, now what you're also doing here is you're doing this palm blocking here as well as pick blocking. So when you want to pick, you can move your wrist right here. Kind of like that or you know or lift it just a little bit, but the way that I do I teach it is this bone right here of the hand is just kind of locked in up against this string right here, right? I roll my hand over and my hand, you know, everybody's hand's different. My hand this this bone right here on the pinky finger touches the first string. Okay? And then that really it really gives you a good position as you, you know, no matter if you're playing low or high or what. And all I do if I want to go low is I pull my arm back, my whole arm like that, right? Kind of like a piston, just like that. So my hand always stays in this shape and you want to watch the thumb and the index finger colliding, hearing that noise, right? So if that thumb is in front of your index, Right? And then the other thing is if you're doing the palm blocking, um, this is just, you know, if you're wanting the soft kind of style, if you're playing Dobro or whatever, your hand might be closer to the bridge, or if you're playing the Duesenberg, it might be here, and I'd be doing more more pick blocking versus that, you know, but the, the technique is basically always the same. I always have my hand in this overall position with that circle right there. This index finger's curved like that. These fingers are all curved, but it all starts with that that fist, slowly open the fist up, roll the hand over, and grab three strings. I'm doing strings three, two, and one. And then when you want to make the sound, your hand's up. When you want to mute it out, your hand's down. You can move to the next set. So if you're worrying about the click of the pick, this part of your hand kind of can mute out right before your picks do. So you avoid that. See how I do that? I just kind of touch it with the, the, palm, the heel of my hand and then lay my picks down. Right, and a lot, of, a lot of times students will get their thumb like that and they'll start playing like that or the, these fingers will be out too straight and they'll be wanting to do that. I say, lock that bone right in on that sixth string Make a fist, just like that. Slowly open it till you get a nice circle. Roll it over. Have a nice curve right there. And then you can see right in there, you can see that part of the hand touching the, the strings. When I want to play, watch the, watch the bend right here. Not only am I gra I'm picking the strings too like that, but I'm also lifting that, and that causes that part to come up to uh, not mute anymore, right? So a good a good exercise I give my students is is uh, grab three sets of strings like that and then mute out and get that timing down to where you get the heel of your hand and then pick boom like that and that'll give you the quietest um, mute you know sometimes you get when you do it with your picks you kind of hear that that sound there.
So what you can do is just grab each three set of sets of strings, you know, three, two, one. And then as you mute out, you move your hand up or down actually to four, three, and two. And then five, four, and three. And then six, five, and four. Now notice how my hand did not change position. I'm not getting that scrapey sound on the wound strings because the flat part of my pick is in a good position. I do have my lap steel kind of pulled in to my, my side right here, right? But you're not getting, sometimes students will get that, that sound because their picks are, uh, the edge is scra scraping the windings, right? So you want to make sure your technique and the way you hold everything is putting that flat part of the pick even on the lower strings, right? But watch my hand position, it's there. There is shape. It doesn't ever change. The only thing that changes is this part of my hand, like a piston, will move forward and backwards. If I ever wanna play, I just lift my, bend my wrist right there, and as I do, I pluck. That seems to be a, a technique that, that's working for me at least, you know, I'm always, changing things and trying out new stuff but now that's if you're you know wanting to hear everything ring out sometimes you will need to do the pick pick blocking of individual strings like say if i wanted to do strings three two and one i do some technique like that where i do my thumb index now notice how i always start right there open it up, roll it over. I start right there, right? Now when I play with my thumb, if I'm doing pick blocking, individual strings, these two fingers aren't moving. See, thumb, index, middle. That's how I would probably do something like that if I wanted to. You know, there it is, everything ringing out. Here it is using pick blocking. I, I pick a lot, or mute a lot with my thumb. I like the sound of that plastic on the string. It's a little bit quieter than the metal. Thumb, mute, mute. And you can do that. So the whole time I'm not doing any muting with my left hand. I'm not even holding a bar. Right? So that, that, like I said, that's a good technique. And I think even for beginners, they, can, they, they seem to understand that. So I used to say karate chop like that, but I found that people weren't getting a good, a good circle, right? So now I say with a closed fist, just kind of do the karate chop, boom, and also feel that bone locking into that six string kind of like that. Feel this bone come down, and then you got all six strings muted. You slightly open it up and roll it over, and you're always feeling all six strings right there. Now, when I'm doing, say, double stops, like on my in open D tuning, you know, I might play my third and first string a lot. I'll do thumb and middle finger, and that, that technique works real nice like that because I can... You know, get that that and the palm block and everything to where I can just barely, barely, barely touch it right there and it mutes out. Basically, as soon as my picks come down, this part of my hand touches. Now, if you're playing, you know, the benders, sometimes it's a little bit harder. Um, you know, I still have my hand basically in that position, but my muting is not as good. If I really wanted to mute, I'd probably get off that or do some sort of bar, bar technique. I can still grab the strings, kind of mute out there, but you don't get all the strings muted out as if you have your hand up here. And it's a softer sound too, if you're doing double stops. 
slants, things like that. I'll normally have my hand up here in front of that pickup. Well, I hope that helps. Um, that's about as much detail as, as what I teach in my Zoom lessons. But uh, be sure to check out my streaming site if you want you know, access to all my lessons. Uh, I think I've been teaching for about, at least since this video is recorded, about 10 or 12 years. So that's a lot of uh, material out there. But that's at lwtstreaming.com. Okay, we'll see you on the next lesson, everybody. Thanks so much. Bye.